everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going to be trying to get her maize sown today, hopefully today, I might roll into tomorrow because we have a bit of an issue or it's not just working how we were hoping it would. So currently, since you last seen me, I have a cup of coffee and two hours sleep in me. So yeah, I'm pretty knackered but I'll be alright. We have Rory there is in the 6290 with the triple K harrowing away, but the problem we're having, we were hoping <coughs> that the sods, the triple K would break up the sods enough that we'd just be straight out with the stone picker, but that's just not the case. It's still, see all them, they're just gonna go into the tank, the stone picker. All the stones will too, but no, they need to be broken up. We're going to, I had to take off the stone picker, because I put it on when I got back last night at 5 o'clock and um, <clears throat> we'll be back under this car so we're going to disc it and just draw a keep at it till we fine it up enough that the, there's not as many clods to go into the tank we get it unfolded and we get stuck into it so the triple K is doing its job there but it's just not, and even after one run of, of what I'm doing, it's still not just, it's just too, too damn. There's just no getting away from it. But we harrow it and leave it and let it dry and harrow it again now. It's, um, it's just too damn. So, just kind of the first block of ground done. And it's, um, yeah, it's actually not looking too bad. So we'll get Rory to run across it there and um, see how it turns up after triple K just to bring the stones back to the top because I have them buried again because just the way that the disc car is just the way of it is enough to bury stones there's the bulls there grazing away happy out probably do a few hours dry and though before we, we go to pick the stones just to leave it a bit fluffier for itself That's it, it is doing its job, it is a bit windy, it's turning up the stones, it's saving them on top of the ground, like compared to what's not done, no stones on top, here, stones on top, it's not too bad, but we still have a lot of these clumps, and it's drying, I done two runs of the Hara across what I'd done, it's making no difference to it. There's a good breeze out, as you can probably tell by the wind noise in the mic. Hopefully, well, as I know, it's 10 o'clock. If we get it all hired up, leave it till after dinner to go at it, it may have dried enough to break up them last few clods. It just needs a bit of drying. We keep going, but the Triple K is doing its job. They're turning up the stones. Rory's gonna go back over what I have done and we'll finish up then and let it dry up and hopefully it goes and for anyone who hasn't watched the previous video Rory is from New Zealand and he's working for us for the summer as himself and his partner oh, we're just doing this bottom end now Rory's well on now you can see the, the finish he's getting with the triple K it's quite nice the stones are sitting up there nicely so it should be hopefully a pretty straightforward run to gather the lock of stones off it just so that the uh, plastic for holding down the maze actually doesn't have the stones getting in the way and then the sheets of maize or plastic blowing off because that's what's happened before is anywhere there's a stone that just can't. blocks the, the machine for throwing the clay up onto the edge of the plastic just to keep it down and then the sheet blows away hopefully it won't happen this year because it's not plastic we got this time it's biodegradable film and that stuff is bloody expensive and now that is the field hard. Rory's nearly done it too. He just has this smaller lower bit to do. Contractor, I think, is here with the drill. We'll just go in and we'll see what the story is. Whether we're going to Kohara the beet field or whether we'll put on the stone picker and get started at it. Update on the plan is now to go straight back out stone picking. Um, the contractor that's sewn the plastic because our maze drill is non plastic. Father Phil wants to put plastic under it, now plastic, biodegradable, it's biodegradable, let's look at it, 
But um, so after it's the only job we get a contractor in for, so he was just leaving down his cheap, that's why he was here. So he's gone back to get his tractor. This video is sponsored by Gold Crop, same as last year. Gold Crop are sponsoring our forage videos, our maize, our beet. We'll be growing uh, grill rape again and cover crops and all of that. And our multi species sword. So they left up a pallet of all the seeds we need now. Just exclude them bags there. Uh, farmer, we have to do a bit of seeding for left up them bags. So they'll hopefully we'll get some one of us will get to that this evening and get them out. We have our seed here. So we have, haven't it opened up yet? We have Foxtrot, same as we used last year, dual purpose. And then we have is LG3103207. So they are the two varieties of maize we're sowing this year. So we're putting in 12 acres. Thanks to Goldcroft for sponsoring today's video. The most expensive stuff, the thing that makes growing maize a bit of a killer is the plastic. And it's, don't know, can we call it plastic anymore? Because it is the bio clear stuff. So to put a ban on the plastic that had been used for many, many years because it was not environmentally savvy. The biodegradable film is a fully biodegradable product that I don't know exactly what it's made of, but it just, it disappears. It's not like the old stuff that was UV unstabilized and the sunlight broke it down into microplastics. This actually degrades, biodegrades itself. Interesting how it goes because I've heard mixed reports on how it's worked last year and not lasting long enough and different things. It's very expensive. I think Father Phil says it's 260 euro a roll and a roll does an acre. So yeah, there's a lot of money sitting on that pallet. The 10 rolls, so we're, of the 12 acres we're putting in, Father Phil's just bringing barley to feed cattle. 12 acres, two acres are going uncovered. So the LG if a, is a covered variety, and then the Fox Trot is dual variety. So we're going to start off an LG at the bottom end of the field and then Fox Trot will run out. We'll use at the top end of the field. Top end of the field is the most stoniest. So even though we are picking the stones, it's probably where putting in the biofilm will probably be the hardest. So we're not going to put the plastic there. It is time to get the stone picker on. We'll go pick stones and see, can I go any faster than 1.2 acres an hour? Now that we've triplicated and have all the stones at the surface. So yeah. And also then there's the issue mm. with I won't make it from one end of the field to the other. So yeah, I'll we'll have to figure all these things out. But anyways, we better get to it. Tipping away here now on the maze ground. So just starting to pick the stones off the top of where it's driest. And as we work our way down, then it should get drier and just till up nicer. So Rory's in the cab with me. So just teaching Rory how to use it. Just showing how to work it so I can get the harness up and I'll do the next deal while Rory's getting some of this stuff. Get the meat ground ready. We're just about full again and it's a full of a load to half a run. So it is quite stony ground. Just go on past and we'll tip this load. Back it in here and tip. You can see how most of the stones were coming in on one side on that run. Yeah. Just as well tip every time you get from one end to the other. Yeah. Um, because it's probably it's not worthwhile trying to drive on past the tipping point to only end up having to go back to us. We keep going. So we we're just up here tipping the load, and we got a burst pipe. So we have a steel pipe. We just tipped the load and we just noticed the steam rising from a hairline burst in a steel pipe just up there. Father Phil is on his way out. We're going to have to rip that pipe off and get a new one or get a flexible pipe. I have to get something now because she ain't going to work too well. Oh, we suck. And we are back running, but the pressure is on. Roy's on the 7618 with the Harrow. Contractors at the other end of the field waiting. And yeah, just could have done without this breakdown because now it's left that I am literally holding everyone up because it's a slow job to pick these stones and actually make sure you get them all. It also doesn't help that I only slept for two hours last night. So yeah, one of those days, all right. But it will surely get to the other end of the field. The one thing I do have is I am wider than everyone. So we're going now. Everyone's going, so I have everything that side done. 
so we're starting to go down the field now so they're after starting there now so hopefully all goes okay i'm driving faster than i've ever driven i'm in 2a now which gives me much more speed on turning but it seems to be doing quite a good job even for going fast the soil is just lovely and loose now and the triple k she brought all them big stones up to the top you know it's not looking too bad there now she's lining them up and she's backing them in now everyone there's there's everyone's on the go now so we get the drone up and we get down a bit and hopefully they will stay ahead of them picking we're sowing our maize we're harrowing we're spreading all in the day's work the cattle are looking at us chilling thinking ah, they're flat out now trying to grow the food to feed us was a bit of an issue. We're gathering stones here all the same. He sent Rory up to the top field, the beat field, to go hard at that while I'm getting ground done here because he's safe to go. Cross ground a lot quicker than I can. Uh, the contractor had to go, so he'll be back tomorrow to finish it. So probably but surely we'll get these stones. But we are traveling faster than I have been in the past, which is nice. But where there's very few stones, I'm able to go up to four and a half kilometers an hour there. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. We're the way here. So this is only the second time it's happened. But a stone has jammed in between them and then stuck the road. Also, as you can tell, it's a great way of gathering up all the other dirt off the field. But the row here is the very same. You can see they're just starting to round the tip. Anyways, try and get this out. nearly coming near short ground and running out of space to tip stones in that pile there that pile up there I can't get to off the space at the far end and that pile there is starting to encroach on the field I a lot of stone gathered driving a bit faster too and seems to be leaving behind more of you know them ones the ones that I don't they, they won't do any harm it's 
the likes of him, 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 you know, that we're after. Which, there's no shortage of them. So it's a great job for getting rid of all them ones. And I seem to be leaving behind more of the smaller ones this time. Just with the Triple K having brought them up, I can drive that bit faster because there's no time to root them out or anything. They're just up there, lovely and loose. Can drive around, still get the big ones, and leave more small ones behind. So, win win. just in the distance there finishing off giving it its run so it's ready for fully finished ready for planting the rest of the maize in the morning and I have a woeful pile of net wrapping no dirt on my rotors which I'm gonna need to clean so we'll pick it up again tomorrow when the maize is being sown and we see how that gets on and hopefully also the amount of stone that I've gathered there could be 20 trailer load there's a woeful pile of it we have the bit that's up there, but the other piles we'll have to wait till the maize is harvested and then go out the digger and a trailer and get it through down. It's not ideal, but we just didn't have didn't have enough people to be able to draw the stone away. It also would have been a heck of a lot quicker if I did have someone, but look, it is what it is. There is. Park this up in the yard. And it is the next day. It's a bit windy. And he's sewing away out there. So it's to rain later on today, so hopefully he'll get it all done before the rain. But me and Rory stuck at it last night. We got all finished up and you can see the finish there. Stone picked and harrowed. <coughs> now the clay is still damp. You can see for yourself. You know, it's still damp. Could do it being drier, but we're not getting the weather. So we just have to try and make best of what we have. But um, finish up very, very, very nicely. Very happy. Eva, I didn't know whether the disc car would work that well after the stone picker to kind of level it off, give a nice finish, but it is. Does a very good job of it. He's flat out sewn away there. Doesn't seem to be feck all plastic. You know, biofilm not stuck or waved away with stones, so that's what we were after. We might get a bit of close up action later. Just in between getting ready now for the next job. Just have to um, load up the 2725 with grass seed and go do this bit for our neighbor. And um, yeah, that's what I'm at. So he's just in getting water. It's not too often you see a John Deere in the channel. 6310. So just filling up a water for the sprays. So what spray is going in? What? Huh? What spray is going in? Oh, yeah. it's Stone Backwell and Calaris. Stone Backwell and Calaris, yeah. pre-emergent spray. Pre-emergent spray, it has to be done because you can't spray it. Yeah, you can't spray it. Yeah. So there's spray nozzles that go okay. inside there and, and then outside of the alley, close yeah. to cover. So it sprays it, sprays it before the plastic or the biofilm goes down and then sprays the alleyways yeah. as well. Biofilm man. Biofilm, yeah. I call it something anyway. Once he's loaded there, he just needs to get the rest of our seed. So he's mixing. So he done the top of the field without plastic, just fox trot, and then he's mixing the LG in with the fox trot as it's to do a cross pollination. So you get better yields of kernels and that doing it that way. And um, so we won't be able to see the difference in the two varieties because it's going to be mixed in.
and we are rooting away here we're back in the field the maze is all sown across it except for just the headland so we're hiring the headlands ahead of the drill so we'll start the far headland do these headlands maybe try and give it two clusters but hopefully it up might want to let down the harrow a bit but um yeah doesn't seem to turn out too bad a few small spots but for how sunny the ground is now you know i don't think it's too bad now i don't think it's too bad so yeah a few weeks that'll be a nice crop of maize coming up So just starting to sow the headland there, turning up nicely now. Nice field to see now, 12 acres of maize in, uh, still dry. We didn't think we were going to get this long out of it, but it looks like we have. So now, just take track out. This bulb here it doesn't really matter, we'll just run across it again. And um, yeah, do the far headland. So yeah, happy days. Great to see it getting in. And now that is it done. So here's the far headland done, so just let's do that headland there. And that's it. So we won't get out and look at the film because it's all sprayed now with pre emergent spray. So just don't want to be messing with that. Yeah, that me right. It says the biofilm down. It'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. I heard people talk that it's about a month and it's, it starts to biodegrade. So it's going to be interesting to see how it actually works out how the top end of the field works out without plastic so yeah there's not much more to say but yeah that's really it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments as always hit me down in the comments down below sorry there was no drone fudge and so on i was just busy trying to get other crops in and i was doing that bit of seeding for the customer and yeah it's just a hectic time now trying to make the most of the weather while we have it because it's supposed to rain around five or six o'clock which we won't find coming and there's still more to be sold so anyways yeah, so i hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that is it for me good luck <laughs>